Hey guys, this is my A-level chemistry AQA 2024 paper two predictions video. As always, make sure that your revision is thorough because I'm not psychic. But what I do do is I'm going to go through like the last five years or so of papers, look at what's come up, look at what comes up every year. And then also look at maybe some things that haven't come up uh, much recently. Um, and then I put that together in this video. So the first part, if we're looking at what we can expect from this year's uh, paper two, the first part is looking at things that you should always be revising for paper two that are like dead certs, um, especially some things that if they haven't come up in paper one, I'm making this video before paper one, right? So I don't know what's already been in there. You will know that before you go into paper two. But we will also look at, as well as the things that just come up all the time, that you should definitely make sure you're very clear on, some things that perhaps, in terms of patterns, I predict might be in this year's paper. And then at the end, I'll give you some areas to go on my website for extra help. So um, what you should always revise well for paper two, rates and the rate equation. Uh, Obviously, finding orders from tables of results, that kind of thing. Uh, making sure you also know about your concentration time graphs, your concentration rate graphs, like the difference between them for different orders of reagent, and matching the rate equation to mechanisms of a reaction. Testing for organic functional groups, super important, so likely to come up. You don't want to be losing marks because you can't remember the test for an aldehyde or what type of alcohol is oxidized with dichromate. So make sure you know just your basics, your color changes. Sometimes people forget the really obvious, like alkenes. Testing for an alkene, that's like GCSE. Don't be losing marks on those. Make sure you're solid. That involves flashcards, whatever, retrieval practice quizzes. Get yourself keep up to speed on it. Don't assume you know them because you'll forget them if you don't recap. KC calculations. I already mentioned that for paper one, but I don't know where they're going to come up. Okay, so KC and KP can come up in either paper. Make sure you are solid on those uh, ICE tables that you can work out. Moles at equilibrium and concentrations. Of course, it's an organic themed paper, so spectroscopy is a dead cert. You need to make sure that you can do your two different types of NMR, carbon-13 and hydrogen, uh, infrared, and just have an idea about mass spec as well. Um, but generally focusing definitely on NMR, making sure that you can put together what different environments a uh, molecule might have, how many environments, what the splitting patterns might be. Ideal gas and empirical formulas. So in a lot of organic analysis questions, you might be getting an NMR spec and infrared, but you might also be getting information from a calculation. And from that, you'd be expected to find the empirical formula, the molecular formula. So ideal gas is part of that. Uh, combustion. OK, so combusting a hydrocarbon, moles of CO2 and water convert that back into carbon and hydrogen and you get an empirical formula or it might just be a straightforward empirical formula again these should be relatively easy calculations you don't want to get caught out because you forgot about the calculations involved in paper two for that and then organic chemistry Obviously, everything that's organic is molecular. Everything is covalent molecules in organic chemistry. So it's also an area where they can put in a lot of stuff about bonding and shapes of molecules. So make sure that you can describe uh, how to determine the shape of the molecule. Don't just be making sure that you can guess it, but explain why something has a particular bond angle in relation to electron pairs repelling and things like that. And then specific topics, okay, what functional groups should we really maybe be thinking about? What mechanisms? I would say aromatic and benzene chemistry. Make sure you know your reaction conditions and your mechanisms for that. You should always be doing that, uh, but definitely this year, I think. I also think nucleophilic substitution um, and nucleophilic addition. So nucleophilic reactions generally. And nucleophilic reactions involve haloalkanes, 
but also um, addition reactions across a C double bond O. Okay, so the reason for those is, for example, cyanide. In organic synthesis, cyanide ions, so CN minus, is a way to make a carbon chain longer, and that is often comes up in paper two in synthesis so make sure you're aware of those mechanisms that you know your reagents and conditions environmental chemistry just again it's an area that we might overlook uh, but you don't want to be getting a really long mark question and you've completely forgotten everything there is to know so ozone layer and uh, halogen radicals so chlorine radicals and depletion of ozone layer also combustion products of combustion carbon dioxide a little bit just make sure you're familiar with the greenhouse effect make sure you're familiar with carbon monoxide um, as a toxic product of incomplete combustion as well maybe a little, even a little bit of a link to sulfur dioxide and acid rain that's your period three reactions elimination reactions okay so producing an alkene make sure you know where that can happen and the fact that isomers can form structural isomers, i.e. the double bond can be in a different position. EZ isomers, the double bond can result in stereoisomers too. And in terms of practical techniques, my big tip there, obviously make sure you know all your practical techniques, but recrystallization possibly linked into an aromatic benzene question to do with aspirin. Um, so purifying a solid minimum amount of hot solvent, all those things. In fact, you can find a recrystallization video on my YouTube channel that talks through the steps, and you'll also find an elimination reaction video that talks through the mechanism and the different products. Um, so that's on my YouTube channel. What can you find on my website to help you out? Retrieval practice quizzes, get yourself up to speed, especially with your organic reagents and mechanisms. It's never too late to be doing quizzes to remind yourself Practice questions and walkthroughs. There's some organic ones on there. There's some calculation ones with walkthrough videos. And there are some multiple choice questions, which you might be leaving until paper three. But multiple choice is a good way to do retrieval practice as well and remind yourself what you've forgotten. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, I have only two spaces left on this course and they might be gone by the time you watch this. But on the 30th of May, I'm doing a sort of relatively intensive one day revision course. Um, it's going to be six hours of live lessons. Also, if you're on that course, you get access to all of the other materials on the website, the paid materials, such as the predicted papers, walkthroughs, and all of the masterclasses. Um, so contact me ASAP if you're interested in that, uh, because it might not be too late. Masterclass revision packages, like I just said, there's 22 hours of really focused videos. Um, these are only available through the website. They're not on YouTube um, for a relatively small fee of like 50 pounds. You get 22 hours. You get all the practice questions. You get um, detailed classes where we walk through like the real challenging stuff. So if you're looking for AA star, these are really, really helpful um, and you can focus on particular topics. I'm going to do pre-exam group classes. If you're on my mailing list, you'll know about that. Um, I will put the dates up ASAP. There's going to be one before each exam, either the night before, day before, or a couple of days before. If it's like on a Monday, I might not be doing them on a Sunday. It depends. Practice papers, predicted papers, paper one, two and three available for download now. And I am just about to do my practice walkthroughs for those so that you can have walkthroughs for the mark schemes as well and there's also an extended response booklet so some of the things I talked about uh, where you might get a longer answer question organic synthesis bonding and structure shapes of molecules etc intermolecular forces um, there are 22 different six to eight mark questions exemplar questions with like mark scheme guidance uh, model answers all of those things um, that's available and you can get in fact a whole downloadable package of the predicted papers the practice papers which is last year's predicted and the extended response booklet all for like 16 quid so bargain get yourself over there get yourself prepared 
uh, drop me a question in the uh, response or send me an email ASAP if you want to be involved in that one day course over half term. And good luck with all of your exams this summer.